We started on the road to Copenhagen two years ago with the first forest day at COP13 in Bali. At that event, our discussions focused around the exciting prospect of forests being incorporated into a new global climate agreement. By Forest Day 2 last year in Poznan, the center of gravity had shifted from whether forests would be included to how that inclusion should be shaped. And now, even though the negotiations are still ongoing, our deliberations today will not center on the specific points that remain unresolved. Instead, we'll be looking beyond the negotiations to the challenges that will face individual countries and individual communities as they begin to implement mitigation and adaptation strategies related to forests. It is immensely gratifying to have such a huge turnout for Forest Day 3 and difficult to imagine a larger gathering of people who know more or care more about the connections between forests and climate change. Many of you are here because you see great potential in the new mitigation and adaptation instruments to address long-standing challenges to the sustainable management of forests. Others of you are here because you're concerned about the risks of those new instruments, such as RED, and you want to make sure that our objectives are broadened beyond carbon storage to include poverty reduction, fairness, biodiversity conservation, and protection of rights. Still others of you are here because you want to share what you have learned or because you want to learn what others have to share. Some of you are joining us via the miracle of streaming media. And perhaps some of you are here in person because you didn't realize there would be a secondary market in Forest Day registration and that you could have made some money by selling your name tag to somebody on the waiting list. Now let me ask for a quick show of hands. How many of you were present at the first Forest Day in Bali? How many of you were present at the second Forest Day in Poznan? Wow, we're happy to see such a high degree of continuity, but also welcome the many new faces that come with a doubling of the number of participants. In constructing today's program, the Forest Day 3 co-host worked hard to build on the strengths of past years, but also to respond to your feedback on how we could improve. We've introduced new methods to make the event more inclusive and interactive. And we deeply regret that due to the constraints of time and space, we were able to accommodate only a small fraction of the many individuals and organizations who volunteered to speak or co-host a learning event. But we've done what we could to make as much room as possible for you to participate. You'll note that there is only one C4 staff member with a speaking role in the entire program, and that many of the other co-hosts have similarly limited their interventions. Instead, our role will be to listen carefully to the proceedings so that we can generate an accurate summary of all the presentations and discussions by the end of the day. We'll also be listening for the many insights that will no doubt be shared so that they can be incorporated into the research, development, and policy agendas of our respective organizations. In keeping with that commitment, let me now yield the floor to Mr. Trolls Lund Polsen, Denmark's Minister for the Environment. Prior his, uh, to his appointment as minister in 2007, he was since 2001 a distinguished member of the Danish parliament representing the Liberal Party. The Ministry of Environment has been a full partner in every aspect of planning Forest Day since our first conversations a year ago and has provided the financing for this lovely venue and food and drink during the day. It is thus my pleasure to introduce Minister Polson.